Only four years ago, vacations were very rare. After all, back in 2008, of March basically, I was going on seven and a half years without a vacation. But then, all of a sudden, I was starting to have vacations. Quite a few, actually. And this is yet another one coming up. The routines almost become standard now. Because they've been happening right now, once every one year, six months, somewhere in that kind of area. Well, in the three weeks leading up to the actual day that's been known to leave, and by the way, I've actually known about the time for several months. However, and I just calculated the dates and stuff like that, because I'm not a calendar savant, but I can certainly calculate dates to a limited extent. But that aside, three weeks before I know I'm otherwise leaving, I take note of my sleep-wake cycle from my logs and stuff here, and I do some calculations, figure out how I can best adjust my sleep-wake times, so I can make sure that I'm waking up at about this kind of time. And, well, basically just go from there. The more time I have leading up to it, to a certain point, the better, and three weeks seems to be about the most optimal time. Why three weeks? I get plenty of lead-in so I know how I can adjust, because I can add like an hour a day much easier if I have to, than it is to suddenly add five hours in a single day, such as having very short notice. But that aside, as you can tell from my clock here, it's March 24, 2012 in case you're wondering on the year, and it's almost 4.40 a.m. in Central Time, with Daylight Saving Time in effect. So it's actually 9.39 UTC. So, leading from the three weeks before I go, well, uh, I make those fine adjustments. And when it comes down to the last seven days, that's when I really start focusing on how to go about adjusting my sleep-wake cycle times the times I wake up and stuff like that. So yeah, waking up 2.33 p.m., going to bed at 7.27 a.m. on March 17. Yeah, times like that are nothing new. I've been doing that for literally a decade now and still counting. But for some reason, I've been having a hard time getting sleeping long enough in recent times, even though I'm trying to force myself to get back on track. It just My body sometimes just does not want to cooperate. That's why I'm so hard fixed on 25 and two-thirds hours days. It's because if I go to bed too early, I end up either not being able to go to sleep or sleep longer than usual. Go to bed too late and, well, I get less sleep and I'm drowsy the next day. And that's kind of what I am right now, a little drowsy. So, when it comes down to the very last day, before I go, that is, March 23, I go about doing all the packing and stuff. And that's with that's what's with all these pants, underwear, and hidden under here, my shirts. Yeah, move these objects out of the way. And here you have it. Here's one of my shirts. One you might recognize, even. Game, not aside, but... Yeah, and that's another one of the things I do. And on the very last day, that's when I pack in all my other items that I do. This will be getting packed, but it's actually a carry-on item. And there's actually a reason for that. For example, gotta have my vitamins. So, pack those in. And uh, don't forget my fiber tabs too, gotta have those. That's basically the supplements I take every now and then. It's actually every day I take them. Well, Every one of my 25 and two-thirds hours a day, not 24, like most are familiar with. But there are other items I take, too. For example, you might recognize this thing, right? Yeah, this is my MP3 player. Yep, that's also considered carry-on. There's actually a difference between just stowaway, basic luggage in a way, and carry-on. Carry-on is basically my notes here, for example. Yeah, except it's intended for another day. Hmm, where did my other sheet go? That's strange. Hmm. Ah, that's where it went. 
and hidden under there. And this is actually the time I woke up. By the times I wake up are actually the time I actually get awake enough to get out of bed. So this is actually another 30 minutes later. Usually about 30 minutes. So this can otherwise go at the bottom of my stack here. Because that I don't need anymore. And from here, well, I just continue on packing and preparing, doing other preparations. And because I have otherwise no computer when I'm at Minneapolis area, which is pretty much the only place I ever go to, it's like, what's the world map look like? <laughs> well, I could show a world map, but that's, that's besides the point. And so here's the setup for leaving to the trip. I got my familiar clock here so I can tell what time of day it is. I got my often to carry along stuff. And super maps so we don't get lost. Paper so I can write logs, which is nothing new. And in the back, a lot of suitcases. And other stuff that's not really carry on. My blanket's there for one. Let's cover up your TV. Yeah, I'm bringing my TV along. That's because I'm into video games. They're not. They're into movies. I'm not. So, bring my own TV. Solves that problem. And that's basically otherwise the full setup.